What is going on, Foggy? It's NimbleThaw here, and thanks for tuning back into my mobile gaming quest where I document playing a brand new mobile game every single day here on YouTube. And today we're gonna check out Hellrider 2, which is this awesome indie action casual game. And uh, even though it looks like an endless game, well, I mean, it is an endless game, but it's actually divided into levels. So you guys can see that we see these, um, we get these different types of challenges. Right now, we have to avoid those bombs. No, <laughs> no, we failed. You guys can see that we're at the dual stage right now. We're at 1.2, so kind of level one. Uh, world 1 maybe, and then level 2, and we're then at the jewel, and we have to defeat this jewel here to move on. Do you like Hellrider? I'm gonna press no, just because if I press yes, I'm probably gonna be taken to the uh, to the App Store, to, to Google Play, to review the game. And I don't want to do that right now, because we are, I mean, reviewing it right now already. Oh, we can collect one of these gold skulls here, not really sure what exactly they do, but they're kind of nice. So now we'll be able to throw a bomb, guys. Let's hit it correctly. Oh, that was so close. Okay, okay, okay. It's really difficult. I do like how these different minigames keep the game fresh, though. There's always stuff to do in the game, uh, and, and you never really get bored with it. No! Okay, wait, we avoided that one. We have to hit those white round circle thingies, though, because they- uh, Oh, no, 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 no! No, no! Okay, we can watch an ad to survive, or revive, but we're not really interested in that. We just want to keep going for as long as we can, and as, as you guys have probably noticed by now, every once in a while, or actually every, after every level, we, uh, the, the world will actually change, so right now we have to drive to the right side, whereas other times we have to drive to the left side, uh, sometimes we have to drive up, and sometimes we have to drive down, and that actually keeps the game really, really fresh, it also makes it really difficult, because you don't really ever get used to, 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 uh, to the game, really, <laughs> you just have to, all. it's always changing. Okay, this time we got him, guys, this time we got him, and let's throw it, no, yeah, we missed, we didn't miss, we hit him, awesome, that is really great, so that was a checkpoint, and now we can go on to the next section, at, it, it seems, of this world here, so it's still world 1.2, but just the next section, so what is the next section, I wonder, so this time we get a bomb again, that's always nice, getting those bombs, getting a bit of, uh, getting a bit of experience from killing those skulls there, catch this, what is it we have to catch? Okay, so that's a shield. Nice! We got a shield now, so now we basically have one extra life. We don't have to watch an ad. We, <laughs> we simply have two lives. Wait, we have to get away from the lava? How do we do that, though? Oh, okay, I see it. I see it. So we have to hit those boosts. We have to hit those boosts. And now we got a gun as well. Gotta hit that boost. No, we missed the boost, guys. I don't think we can really survive if we keep missing those. Oh, okay, it seems like we did it. Nice. Another checkpoint. We're on a roll here, guys. And we even got... Another life as well. It seems the shield is over though, and now we get to fly. Nice. This is what I mean by the game always changing. Duck fight level one. Nice. Okay, so oh okay. This is really cool. That's why we got the gun before. Ah, this is so nice. I do like how the game is mixing in so many different uh, other game elements. It just really works. It works really really nicely, uh, and I'm really liking it. Let's see if we can get this skull guy though. We do want to go back to uh, to town afterwards. We got him. Nice. Nice, he's going down, guys. We got him. We do want to go back to town afterwards and see what we can... Wait, do I have to aim correctly here? And see what sort of uh, characters we can unlock. If we're lucky, we'll get to unlock a few new ones. So now we're driving instead of... Uh, instead of, uh, I guess, driving on water, we're driving on land right now. Look at this, guys. Oh, instead of flying. We can drift as well. Did you guys see that? Oh, no! Wait, they can shoot now? They can shoot? What? Have they always been able to shoot? And we died, though. Okay. Let's see. We got all the way to 1.3 to the duel against so this is... Uh, basically the same as in 1.1, where we also had a duel, but now in, in 1.3, and it seems we leveled up as well, that is nice, now we get a, uh, what is this, someone has challenged us, right, so if we win this one, if we get to the finish line, before that other player, before that NPC control player, it's all single player, by the way, but if we can do that, then we get to unlock that character skin, so, no, 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 we failed, then we only have this one chance, oh wait, did we have a shield, it looks like we had a shield, no, 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 we're gonna fail this one, guys. Oh, um, man, that sucks. No, that was so close. If we had just missed that, uh, that that thing that slowed us down there, I think we might have been able to make it, though. Again, we can watch an ad, because that's how the game monetizes. We can watch an ad if we want to get another chance. I'm not really gonna do that right now. The other way the game monetizes is, of course, uh, in, in, uh, through in-app purchases. So we can remove the ads for a couple of US dollars, two US dollars, and, and the ads that we're removing are not the incentivized ads, but they are the ads that you haven't really seen any in the video because I will have edited them out. But there has been one ad so far that I've edited out uh, throughout this play session here. So every once in a while we do get these five second skippable, skippable video ads. So we'd skip them after five seconds, but we do have to watch those five seconds. We're forced to do that, whether we like it or not. So that is how the game has chosen to monetize. If we go in here, we can have a look at all the different characters that we can unlock. And honestly, it seems like we can't buy these characters, which is really interesting, because typically you can buy these characters 
Uh, what we can do though is watch ads. So for this one, for example, we can level up and um, and get another chance of getting that character at level four. And we can level up by watching another ad, or at least getting some XP by watching another ad. But that's it for the game though. Apart from that, it is an endless game, as I said. It's just that the the, um, the challenges change all the time, but it is endless because you have this high score down in the bottom left corner, 226. Let's just go on uh, one more time here and try our luck. And try our luck here. Oh, we gotta wipe that one, nice. And as I said, you could also drift. Look at this, this is so cool. This is so cool. Okay, so we got the fireball. Not really sure what what like what is the purpose of that? Is it just to? Oh, we actually have to collect. We have to. Oh, okay, I get it now. We have to. We have to ha actually have to hit the rocks to get points. Oh man, I'm so stupid. Can't believe I hadn't I hadn't noticed that. But at least now you guys know if you want to check it out for yourselves. Because as always, the download links I've left those down in the description box down below. Oh, let's get this guy. No, we missed. We missed. So if you do want to check it out, definitely just head down there. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section down below as well what you think about this game. Do you like it? Don't you like it? I know that some of you guys actually really enjoy these casual games. That's why I'm trying to cover a few more casual games here on the channel. So it's not just these big RPG strategy card games all the time. Uh, time. Trying to keep a, a bit of a mix here. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait. This is interesting. I remember this from one of the very, very first levels, but I failed so miserably so quickly. Do we have to hit his foot? I guess we do. I guess we do. Okay, so we hit his foot once. Do we have to do it once more? No! We did it! Wait, we got the king? Nice, we got a king crown, whatever that means. We got a king crown now. Oh, I get it now. So that is how we unlock... Okay, so sometimes you'll get uh, parcels with guns. Now we've unlocked the next one. Wheels of Fortune at the start. If the last ride had 50 points or more. So this one definitely had 50 points or more. So let's just wait to die. I guess I really want to die now, actually, to see what this Wheel of Fortune can give us. All right, here we go. The Wheel of Fortune. Tap to spin. Tapping, even tap again to get a bonus. Oh, we didn't get anything. Okay, so that is how that works. Not, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess that's fine. It's nice. I guess it's nice to have in there. So we have to get over 50 points, and then on the next level, we get a chance to spin this wheel of fortune. That's gonna be it for here now, guys. What do you think about the game? Let me know down in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you like like this video, <laughs> live. If you like it, if you liked it, or if you like the game, leave a like. I appreciate that. <laughs> that's sort of the the, the overall. Uh, the overall message here. I hope you enjoyed it guys and until next time just keep gaming stay awesome And I will see you guys around